What's up, everyone? Welcome back! Alright, so continuing on with more of this shit. Hopefully I don't rage quite as hard this time as I did in the last couple videos. Again, I don't know why this game just, for some reason, sometimes brings out the worst in me. Like, not during these storyline scenes, but, like, the actual gameplay sometimes is just... I don't know why it infuriates me so much <laughs> sometimes. I don't know, whatever. I think I just need to chill the fuck out. Which is why I have my somewhat literally ice-cold lemonade right here. I had to refresh my drink in between uh, rounds here. But yeah, tasty shit. I do love lemonade. その yeah, unfortunately, the dead never come back to life. Well, unless the defibrillator actually works, which defibrillators actually have a pretty low success rate. It's not like how it is in the movies where they always work magically. Yeah, most of the time defibrillators don't actually work. So if you're actually able to bring somebody back using a defibrillator, it's a pretty pretty special thing, actually. Considering they actually have such a low success rate, but... But, uh... I mean, hell, honestly, I'd la rather have a low success rate than a zero percent, you know, success rate. So, yeah. She has a good point. Yeah, I'd say that's actually pretty accurate. Yep. That's how it was for me in my life, anyway. When I lost someone who was close to me that I wasn't expecting. You know, like, when you lose a grandparent or something... You know, you kind of expect that kind of thing because they're older and whatnot. And, you know, older people obviously are more likely to pass away sooner. Or, like, when you start to get older and then your parents start to get older and then they pass away, like, it's expected. But the ones, the deaths that really hurt in life are the ones that you don't expect. Like, when it's someone younger. That Those, I can speak from experience, those are the ones that really fucking hurt. Yep. That is, uh... That's fucking true, man. That's some fucking truth right there. What the fuck? This is Senren Kagura. Why are we getting so profound here? What the fuck? Let's see some tits! Woo! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Had to lighten the mood a little bit. Yep, that is exactly what I was about to say. Yep. 
It's one of those things in life where it's just like, it sucks, but there's nothing you can do. It just fucking sucks. Oh, am I fighting as Miyabi? Oh, no, I have to defeat Miyabi. Okay. I was actually kind of hoping I was going to be fighting as Miyabi because her, like, super attack is really fucking good. Found that out when I was doing the other mission. But at least it's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight between the two of us. Just have to see how good I do against all these grunts. Hopefully I don't get too damaged up. That's why I need to thin out their numbers as soon as possible, just like always. So I can get to the main event, hopefully kick some ass. At least it's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight, though. That makes me feel a little better. She may pull out some grunts, though, but whatever. Not a big deal. Luckily, this character seems pretty fast. Obviously, I've already battled with, like, most of these characters so far, I'm pretty sure, so. But again, obviously, you switch characters pretty often, so. Don't always remember how every character fights. Also got to level up, so that's going to help. It's good shit, we always love to see that. Bitch, stop randomly moving backwards. But yeah, I did find out the other match, that other mission that I was fighting, that even if you do lose a mission, you do still get to keep the experience points that you gained during that mission, even if you do fail it, which I do appreciate, I will say. Again, I do have my issues with the gameplay sometimes, because sometimes it's a little more frustrating than it needs to be, in my opinion, but that's good that at least, it, even if you lose a mission, you don't get to, in, you know, you still gain a little something from it, even if you can't beat the mission. So that makes me feel a little bit better moving forward. I know I kind of raged pretty hardcore last uh, last mission, but I feel like I can be a little bit more chill now knowing that. Besides, uh, even if I fail a mission, I'll just try it again and, until I beat it. Eventually, one way or another, I'll keep leveling up the character, and eventually I'll get to the point where the character is just so high-leveled that I'll win the mission. In, at least in theory. But you know, you get enough stat boosts after a while, you're gonna you're gonna be probably good enough to beat any mission. Oh, damn, these bitches are kind of tough. Having trouble thinning out their numbers. They don't have a whole lot, but they're tougher. Nice try, bitch.
Oh shit. Aimed that the wrong way. Shit. Huh. Okay. Alright, well, going back to my old strategy. Seemed to be working better. Fuck it. I'm needlessly wasting health here. Bitch keeps annoyingly dodging every fucking hit. What the hell? Come on, how did she not get hit by that? What? Come on, are you fucking serious with this shit? There we go, Jesus. What the fuck? God damn, that was way more annoying than it should have been. The fucking hell? Ah, uh, okay, so they are going to spawn a bunch of these motherfuckers along with her. I figured it wasn't just going to be a simple one-on-one -on -one fight. Ah, shit, she got me there. That was well played. Whoa, shit, what the fuck? Well, good news there is that I leveled up, so... Heals me up a little bit. There we go. Ah, shit. That might be a problem for multiple reasons. Oh shit! Didn't get a hit with that one. Got a hit. Got some good hits in there though. Oh crap! That's a problem. Oh shit! She got me real good there. All right, fine. What the? F I don't know if that really did anything, but all right. Oh shit! Oh, that did something. All right, I actually like that attack a little bit better. Ah, didn't do as much as I was hoping, though. What? I hit the fucking cancel button thing. I 
Where'd she get off to? Oh shit, she got me there. All right. Oh shit. Oh, that was good. All right. Oh shit. It's too far away. Shit, I was trying to get too fancy there. There we go, got her. Yeah, I was trying to get a little too fancy there with my shit at the end. But still prevailed, so that's good. Alright, good shit. Feel like she has a good outlook on things. Nice, another D. Fuck yeah. I'm the king of D. <laughs> uh, that's probably the gayest thing I've said in a while. All right, well, we'll see what's going on with these three bitches next time, so stay tuned for that shit coming up next. Till then, peace out.